Hi everyone, this is Marjorie from Jeter's Blessings. Welcome to my channel. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Today is a collaboration with Casey from Coffee with My Sunshine and her co-host Jamie from Simple Roots, Simple Living. And this is a using trash to create treasure collab. So what I'm going to use in my first project is these long wooden dowels from the Dollar Tree. They come 10 in a pack. I use a total of 57 of those and this old Clorox wipe container. It is the larger size. So all I'm going to do here is take some of my hot glue sticks made by Gorilla and they are some of the best glue sticks I've ever used. So um, I just go ahead and make a few lines onto the container and then I just start aligning all of the sticks. Now I do take them off here just for a minute because I didn't feel like it covered the bottom completely. And all I'm doing is going to continue to add a couple of the dowels at a time, trying to align them up as best as possible. Now you don't have to worry about them being perfect because mine definitely are not perfect and you can barely tell especially once you get your floral arrangements in it. So as you may guess I am actually making a large tall uh, wooden dowel vase. Now if you wanted to, you could actually remove the label or paint everything a, a single color, but I chose not to because and you'll see in a little bit that once I added all the dowels in, everything fit perfectly. You cannot see in between the dowels at all. And if you don't like how tall this is, you can definitely cut it down. But I know for me, I actually wanted something that was going to be a little bit taller. So here it is just me finishing up on the last three and you'll be able to see how snug everything fits. So I'm taking my Aunt Waverly Antique Wax and a Dollar Tree sponge that I cut in half and then I had got it wet and I'm just dipping it into the Antique Wax and rubbing it all over the, the vase. Um, I was trying to give it a light coat and then I came back in with my brush to give it a darker look. Um, I didn't like exactly how light it was and I didn't want everything to be perfect as far as the application of the wax on here so I think this turned out wonderfully. Um, the brush was able to get into all of the grooves. Now it is an option where if you don't want to wait till everything's done you can definitely go and stain or paint all of your dowels prior to gluing them on but I felt that was going to be just wasted um, material if I painted all the dowels um, and I didn't really want to do that because I knew I would be using a lot of dowels. <laughs> just didn't know how many. But I do love how it turned out. Here I am just giving a, a, a good coat on the top of the dowels. Now I do not go in and paint any of the inside of the dowels because once you have everything in there you you won't be able to see it. So then what I do is I take some plastic bags from the Dollar Tree and I'll just go ahead and start filling, filling my vase with it. That way when the florals are added they are stand up higher and I don't even really need floral foam to stick them in because it'll it'll withstand just fine. So Plastic bags are pretty handy in this case. Now I got these little shamrock 
floral picks in Do the Dollar Tree over by the St. Patrick's decor. And they came in three different colors. So all I'm doing is just removing the tags and kind of spreading them out a little bit to get them to look more full. And I really like how they look. It's a dark green, a, like a medium tone green, and then the light green that I first put in there. Now with that, I will test out some white flowers that I also got from the Dollar Tree. I'd never seen them before until this year. And pardon me, I think it's some German status. I'm sorry if I'm butchering the word, but I thought they were really cute. Uh, but I do choose to go with the white lavender that has the purple tips on them. And I just really enjoyed that a lot better. Those were so gorgeous. They're actually, the, to me, they're a really nice, good quality for the Dollar Tree. They did have some dark pink, uh, purple and light purple lavender as well but um, I really like the white that this one had in it and here's the finished product I think it's just a real cute simple um, vase you could always doctor it up with maybe a, a black ribbon with a bow tie or something on the vase because it's so tall but I really enjoy the simplicity of this piece the way it is and this is something that can stick around for a while and just change out the greenery. For my second DIY, I have this plate from the Dollar Tree. This plate was 49 cents from Hobby Lobby. And then these candle stick holders from the 99 cent only store a couple years back. And that is a roll off of a deco mesh. It's pretty thick and sturdy. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a tiered tray and I'm using the um, cardboard as my divider between the two trays. It is pretty thick and like I said it is sturdy so I'm not too worried about it but you will see later how I add some of the rocks inside of the tube just for uh, safety precautions because I do want to keep this around for a long time. This is my first tiered tray that I've ever made and here I am just cutting a piece off and measuring to make sure it's at the right height that I want. I do only end up making this a two tier but I really like it and I hope everything well I'm sorry guys uh, I'm pretty tongue-tied this morning um, <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm taking my scissors and actually just trying to curve everything off and make it as flush as possible all around. Then I'll just glue everything down with some super glue that I get from the Dollar Tree and a combination of the Gorilla Wood, the Gorilla Glue Stick.
So I take this and I will actually let it sit overnight. So the next day I take this old ribbon spool and I just pop the ends off and I use the plastic portion and I hot glue it to the center of this top plate. Then I've got these shower curtain rings from the Dollar Tree and what I do is I, I'm going to use one of them and that little prong that's sticking out I'm just going to take my little cutters and I'm going to cut it off and then I will hot glue that onto the plastic piece to make my little handle. And then once I've done that and everything's set in place, I take it out and I spray paint it my ultra matte black. And I just really love the outcome of this. Um, I can't wait to create some little tiered tray decor pieces. <clears throat> Now please go into the description and follow the playlist. Thank you for watching.